Hey guys, what's up? This is Max here, and today I'm showing you guys a pretty cool mod called the Conveyors Mod. It's a bit underestimated, but it's very cool. Uh, the first thing you have here is you have your, you have your basic conveyors, like this. Uh, when you place your conveyor belt down, uh, it places in the opposite direction, so if I want it to face that direction, I have to come around to this side and face like this. So, whichever direction, whichever is the opposite direction you're facing is where the uh, pressure plate will point towards. Now, just a simple demonstration here. You can take little objects in a circle if you put them correctly, and they'll just go around in a little circle like that. Very cool. Uh, people and mobs can also go around in this uh, on conveyor, so pretty much anything that touches the conveyor belt will go around on it. People travel a bit faster than items on a conveyor belt. As you'll see right here, I will catch up to the block. Uh, so they do travel a bit faster. Now, if you do get stuck on a conveyor belt, simply hold and pre or press and hold down shift, move to the side, and you will be all right. Now I'm not going to show you guys how to craft every conveyor belt because I do not want to waste time and I'll just simply put the crafting recipe in the top left hand corner and you guys can check it out or go to the Minecraft forum. So the next thing you can do is you can also stack conveyor belts like this and you can place an, a type of block on top and a type of block on the bottom and you can have multiple types of blocks heading to the same destination which increases uh, efficiency greatly. Now the next type of conveyor you have here is uh, the speed conveyor which is shown by this little yellow conveyor and what it does is it simply speeds up the object so as I'll just demonstrate right here if I go you'll see it speeds me up, speeds me up and then puts me back to normal speed. It doesn't increase your speed dramatically but it does increase it a bit to increase efficiency so I'll just put a few blocks down as you'll see when they hit the yellow stone when they hit the yellow uh, conveyor they speed up and uh, then go back to normal speed the next thing I'm going to show is uh, this block. It's called the ejection conveyor. And what happens is when you, you use it with something such as a chest or a furnace, or a furnace chest, and when you have, when you apply redstone to this uh, block, it will eject what's ever in the furnace and chest. So right now we have one block. It has to be off. The redstone circuit has to be off or on the false state. When you turn it on or in the true state, it will turn on and eject that block. Now as you see here there is another block in there but because it is uh, off or it's in the on state or the true state it will not eject the block only when I turn it back off such as right now turn off like that and then I turn it back on it will eject the block. Just an important thing to note when you are doing something like this. Okay so moving on also you need to do the same thing with the chest it has to be off so let's, plump, or let's plop some uh, cooked pork chops in there has to be off, turn it on, and the pork chops will come out like that. Very simple, very cool. The next block is called a break block. It does exactly what it does. It breaks or stops the uh, desired item. So I'll put this on here. And they'll just stop the very end. Just, there's really no use for this because the whole point of conveyors is you want it to uh, continue moving, but it's very cool. And you see right here, I'll just move this. And it works. Humans don't stop as fast as that uh, as other things, but it works. Okay, so this is a very cool uh, conveyor. It is called the after I bring it up, the item separator. And what happens when you left click on this? You can separate items. So say I want to separate between stone and cobblestone. Uh, what it'll do is when it goes on the right path, it'll divide up into cobblestone and left path when I divide it into stone. So I want to do this. I'll put down a bunch of stone. As you'll see here, they'll go left, and I'll put down I'll put down a bunch of cobblestone, and they will go right. So it's very cool. As you'll see in the uh, demonstration I have, you can separate a bunch of blocks into uh, cool little designs and separate them out so you can smelt them differently or whatnot. Uh, let's go over here now. What this block is is it is a uh, I believe it's a. Ooh, I do not have it. Oh well. Uh, it is a pressure block, pretty much like what you have in the uh, tracks when something steps on it, as I will demonstrate right now. Yep. All it will do is it will get off this. Uh, it will activate it, so you have to have another redstone redstone circuit. There's probably a simpler way to do this. What I've done is that I've just uh, combined a redstone circuit, done some timing, and then there's a pressure plate under this. Uh, under this, what is it called? conveyor belt which lifts it up and brings it to its destination so I'll show you right here so demonstrate if I can get off this conveyor belt uh, just put down a bunch of blocks they'll go 
and like that. Now, unfortunately, you do not have to have this set right, or you do not have a repeater. Uh, this will only happen once, and you'll have to wait for it to happen again before it can move along. So it doesn't work amazingly, but it does work. Uh, the next block you have right here is an item separator as well, and it separates uh, items into two different paths based on the on or off state of redstone. Uh, so if it's off, as you see right now, the redstone is off, it will go to, it'll just go right past it like nothing's happened. And this is indicated by the direction that's actually on the block. So right here, if you see, there's the little arrow right there pointing this direction. So if it's off, whatever direction is on the actual block, that's the direction the uh, item will go. If you turn it on, it will go towards the direction of wherever the thing is facing. So I want it to go towards, in this case, I want to go towards right. That is not what I wanted to do, but whatever. I'll just let it go. Uh, I want it to go to the right because it's on. It will go to the right, and so will I, apparently. Uh, very cool. And, of course, it has to be raining, so I have to turn the whole freaking rain is off again. Okay. Uh, what this is is uh, just a redstone source, pretty much. It does the exact same thing when I put a block down. If I can put a block down, I'll move back a bit. Um, yeah, redstone will take it to the left. And this is just a redstone source, so you don't have to use like a torch or something. And that is this block right here. And obviously, whatever direction that little arrow is facing towards is the arrow the redstone is heading towards. Um, we'll go over here. What I'll show you guys now is these little elevators. Uh, you have to put them on the same level as this. So as you see down there, there's one level uh, like that. So there's three of these blocks, and they lead up to something like this. Uh, this is very useful for collecting items and bringing them to different levels. So here, what I want to do is just, I can't, I have to keep, stop doing that. Uh, yeah, that didn't work very well. Uh, you do have to use something such as coal. So if I get some coal in here, coal, bring it over here. And I'll simply show you guys that it needs to work with a furnace. So you can't, let's put some coal down. That will go up. And for some reason, that's not working. Hmm. Oh well, we'll worry about that later. But it does work. Uh, take my word for uh, take my word for it. It does work. Uh, same thing for the chest. Put down a bunch of things, and it will go up. And I am having problems right now, trying to figure out why this does not work. Oh wait, did I drop three? Hang on. Uh, one, two, three. See, so, yeah, not every block goes in. As you see, it only takes like one certain amount of time. But if you separate it out, I'm sure it'll work. Uh, last thing I'm going to show you guys is a cool little thing. It's a workbench. It's an automated workbench. So what I'll do right here is I'll spawn myself some diamonds. And what do you do? What you do is you put in the recipe you want to create in this side of the workbench. And as items filter in here, they will order themselves in something like this. But they have to be the same block as what you've directed. Do not take the block here. And uh, when the block is done, it'll come out here in its final product. So we'll just drop nine diamonds here really quickly. Go right here and see it just matches up as it goes along. Uh, I didn't drop nine blocks did I? Nope. I didn't even okay. Uh, I cannot put items on the block. And you see there it's done. It'll come out and there's the uh, uh, diamond block. Okay, so now I have a little demonstration for you guys. Okay, guys, so I've done a little setup here, and we'll just make it daytime really quickly so the sun doesn't set on us. I've done a little setup here, which uh, I've used as many blocks as I can from what I've shown you guys so far, and I've implemented them here. So here we have the speed one, just very simply, and uh, I'll just place this down. So we follow these iron, and I have a separator here, which separates between iron and gold as you see here, say I was mining something and I have come up with a bunch of iron and gold I just put them on this, okay, so then they go in different directions, so iron goes right, okay, so we'll follow gold, so as you see here we'll get to gold and because there's a redstone thing here uh, the gold will go on that path it'll go up into the furnace and we'll start smelting, now as I mentioned before uh, let me walk across this as I mentioned before, redstone cannot remain in the on state. It has to go on and off again, or it has to go on, off, and on again uh, for it to continue coming out. 
How I've implemented this is I created a repeater, as you see right here, it affects both of them, and it just continues to go on and off, so it doesn't matter exactly when the uh, block is done smelting. As soon as it is done smelting, it will come out because of this repeater. It's a really good system. Uh, same thing here, what it does, as I should back uh, as I should back there, same thing when a block comes on this, as we'll wait for, uh, if a block comes out, actually, uh, oh, there we go, block comes out, and... Uh, timed it again and it'll just go right into there. What happens here then is we have a certain amount of uh, uh, gold that goes in so how many how much more gold do we have in here? We'll put a good amount in there. Just plop that on there. Uh, wait for this to go and because this is well timed and it's only coming out one block at a time this system works. It will not work for every system uh, but because it works they are evenly spaced out so this uh, this, what's it called, this piston system can handle one at a time. But basically what happens is once these are done, they will all come out here. I've implemented this so this comes down here into uh, this kind of formula. Ooh, and I have not set up a uh, formula over here. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, what's it called, go out there, iron blocks go out there, and uh, they follow this path. They come down here, over here. Uh, I've used the stacking conveyor belts to show that they can come over here. Uh, how much, how many... How much do we have right now? Okay, let's walk across this. I've used the stack and, stacking conveyor belts to bring them to the same path and eventually into the large chest where all of it is stored via this thing. Again, the small, the uh, bottom level has a pipe elevator, and then there's one on the same level as the chest to bring it in there. So, how are we going with here? Okay, we're almost done. Oh, wait, does that stop time? I do believe they're pressing on the stop time. Oh, well. So yeah, it's very, uh, very cool. I try to use or implement as many of these uh, conveyor belts as I could to create a elaborate system that you might, ne you might not ever have a use for, but it's very cool to see and uh, experience. So I think this is the last piece. There, there out pops the uh, block of gold, and it comes in the chest. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, showcase, this mod spotlight, and uh, please go ahead and download, check out the forum to this mod. It is very cool, very underestimated but it can have some very cool uh, uses, I think. So yeah, go ahead, check it out, and I will see you guys later.